What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I actually have something a little extra. I decided to order something a little different. Um, I chose everything myself. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys exactly what I got and kind of the thought, thought process behind it as well. So let's go. take a look nice so first I got some Berkeley Vanish easy casting fluorocarbon uh, 14 pound so I just realized that I don't have any backup line at all which I have no idea how that happened doesn't make any sense uh, but I usually use um, Seaguar and Vizex um, fluorocarbon but I decided to just go with the Berkeley Vanish I mean it was on sale so I figured why not give it a shot it is a little bit on the cheaper side um, but I mean, what's the worst that can happen? So give it a shot, see what happens. Next up we have the 13 Fishing El Diablo 75. So I wanted to get this because I have, um, two other, uh, lipless crankbaits, but I don't have anything that's dark. I have both KVD red eye shads. One is like a gold with a black back and the other one is silver with a blue back. So um, I wanted to get something a little bit darker just to throw in um, stain water. Move some of my stuff, get some of that stuff out of the way. So this is what it looks like. So this is actually called, um, it's three inches, it's three quarters of an ounce, and it's called Rusty Brim. And obviously, I normally fish in um, non-clear water. So sometimes visibility is anywhere from like a foot to like three feet, but always got a rattle. Next up we have, yes. So the Storm Wiggle Wart. So this one right here is called Tennessee Shad. So I actually have their Wiggle Wart that's like a craw color. I'll be using that um, pre-spawn. But this is something that I wanted to use um, right when the temps start to drop, just in case the bass do. So right now, the water temp still is pretty warm, but I want to something that's shad like color as well. The only one I have is a bluegill color, but I wanted to get something that um, can definitely go deep because I think this is like 15 feet plus is what it says. So it's two and three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an ounce as well. So we'll take a look at that. And I love the action on the, um, red one that I have, the red craw as well. So I wanted something that can definitely go deep. And especially when I'm fishing bluebird skies and it's like 80, 85 degrees outside, I'm definitely throwing this just to get way deep down in there for the to target the cooler water temps. And of course, noisemaker. Next we have is, look at this beauty. I'll take this out. This is the Guggen Squad Grande Recon. And the color is Shotgun Shad. We got a little thunder going on outside here. Obviously the Guggen Squad right in the eye. Look how big that bill is. Obviously this is their deep diver. So 15 to 20 feet. It is 3 inches long and it weighs an ounce. And of course the diving depth right there at the bottom and just look at this thing i've always wanted this color beautiful gorgeous all right next up we have a yozuri 3db popper three inches it weighs seven three inches uh it weighs three eighths of an ounce as well so I don't, I forgot what, oh, prism gold black is what the color is. So ever since I started getting the Yozuri stuff in my MTBs, I just realized how much I love their prism technology. Like just look at the way it shines. 
It is crazy. Of course, it's always got a rattle in it. I honestly, I already have another gold popper, but I just wanted to get this one just because I wanted to. But this thing looks, let's have a look at the mouth. Again. Look at it. Just look at the way it shines. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then next up, I have 13 Fishing and their Poppy McPop Face as well. So this one is 5 eighths of an ounce. And it is, the color is called Dark Gill. This thing looks gorgeous. So I don't think I've ever caught anything on a popper. So a lot of times I've just wanted to try something different. So I get about three or four different colors of the bait as well. So obviously, you know, I have this one. This one's definitely for the overcast days. Um, this one is definitely for, you know, clear blue sky. So clear sky, so we can definitely give off that reflection as well. Um, this Yozuri, I think it's three eighths of an ounce. This one is, I think it's a five eighths of an ounce. Yeah, five eighths of an ounce. And I also have a white one as well. So it kind of like covers a broad spectrum of colors, like dark, you know, pretty. Um, so when it's dark, it is clear skies. And then the white one, I kind of just throw in the middle, you know, slightly overcast. And it's got a rattle on it. Um, the next one I got is this is a rattle bot by biospawn so this color is it obviously it's a lipless crankbait it is two and a half inches long it's a half ounce and it's actually called a ruby gill so i did not know that there was two different versions they have one that's almost shaped like a crawfish where it's got i think it has one one giant bead in the middle that gets like a different rattle. This one's got a lot of them in the back, back here. So it's got that rattle in it as well. And like I said, I don't fish in very clear water. Rarely ever do I fish in very clear water. So everything that I own generally is pretty dark in color. Um, I was, except my spinner baits are the exception, but it's mostly dark colors and I have like one or two light colors of that variation, but I always get the dark colored stuff first, but I'm excited. I also have this as well in um, their red crawl pattern as well. And then the next two is what I was the most excited for. So this right here is a Yozuri, again, 3DB. This is their Jerkbait 110. So half ounce, so 110, 110 millimeters or four inches and three eighths of an ounce. So first of all, I mean, this thing just looks beautiful. It's got that WTS or so the weight transfer system as well in it. Um, but the only, so I had two jerk baits. I had the Guggen Squad Scout Silver Flash, which I still had. And then I had a custom um, jerk bait that I was given to. Um, for our Christmas present as a secret Santa and I lost it actually I'll drop the video pretty soon It's kind of embarrassing um, But I just put brand new hooks on it and then I lost it the same day. So or the next day But look at that look how beautiful this thing looks so obviously like I said my other one is a uh, silver flash So obviously it's silver. It's shiny. This one is more of a solid color it's got a little, it's got a gold back. It's called the uh, Gizzard Shad as well is the color. So it just something a little bit different as well. So this is the second brand that I have. I'm definitely excited to try it out. I've been having pretty good luck with the jerkbait. I went fishing the other day for a couple hours. Um, I got one on a jerkbait as well, the only one that I have. So it's pretty cool. I'm starting to, these things are really starting to grow on me. And then obviously last but not least, my Whipper Snapper by 13 Fishing. So one, this is also is a 110, so four inches and three eighths of an ounce. It's got that weight transfer system as well. You can see the, the balls in there as well. But look at this thing. 
This is called, I think this is a ghost perch, if I'm not mistaken. It's suspending. It is nine sixteenths of an ounce, dives five to nine feet. Clear perch is the color. So let's see. So this one is five to nine feet. This one is, I forgot what this one was. I don't know if it says it on here or not. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it says it on Shop Carl's though. But this one is, so five to nine. I think this one is like two to five. The Guggen Squad is four to six. So it kind of gives me a range of different areas to target and then obviously later on I will get something that goes deeper than the nine to kind of give myself like all different areas of the water column to tackle as well. So I'm super stoked for all this I guess you would say fall fishing. I mean the two deep divers that I got generally I would probably use them in the you know in the middle of the summer when bass aren't generally in the higher area of the water column. But other than that I mean, I'm looking forward to just using all of them, and I don't care. I'll use them all in the next month. And then, obviously, you always get some amazing literature as well. You know, obviously, Carl's Chronicles, kind of, you know, there's an article about bass, you know, fishing flat-sided crankbaits as well. Universal fishing tips. I mean, look at this. Talk about ice angling, which I don't, um, I don't ice fish at all. Um, inshore salt water as well, M more ice fishing stuff, panfish and trout, kind of gives you more options as to what they offer, and then walleye fishing, and then always a crossword puzzle. So like I said, these were all the lures that I chose by myself, um, definitely different situations, obviously calls for different lures. But now I kind of have a general idea of the lures that I technically am not really good at fishing. Also what I'm really comfortable fishing. So I'm trying to mix it up and then now I'm doing different color variations, the color variations. And I'm trying to target different water depths as well. Almost with the same style of lure, especially with the jerk baits. So definitely I'm super excited. I'm super stoked and my arsenal is only getting a little, it's only getting bigger. So definitely trying to just be a well-rounded angler instead of just, you know, being comfortable using one or two techniques and then definitely honing in on the color, the temperature, um, the ambient air temperature, the temperature of the water and things like that and just going beyond of, oh, I'm just going to go outside and start fishing. So I definitely want to get more methodical. I will try my best to drop more videos and try to do more breakdowns and theories that I believe will help um, everybody else and definitely if you comment comment some other you know what you think or your theories are and you know definitely definitely different bodies of water different areas whether you're in the midwest south on the coast different variations all over the place so i hope you all enjoyed this video um like i said i'm definitely going to be using this over the next month as well um, the temps are going to start dropping so we will see exactly what that does to the bass until next time Peace.